It's the world's thinnest notebook. We're talking thin here. You want it to be radically thin and light. I can't even feel it. There it goes. This is the new MacBook Pro. It's also the thinnest. It's an inch thin, and it's even a hair thinner than the 17-inch PowerBook. So the new MacBook Pro, 0.95 inches. This is our thinnest MacBook Pro ever. This is the new MacBook Air, and you can get a feel for how thin it is. Yeah, there it is. There it is. It even fits inside one of these envelopes that we've all seen floating around the office. This is the MacBook Air. Point seven six inches down to an unprecedented 0 0.16 inches. It is our new MacBook Air, and we think it's the future of notebooks. It's amazingly thin. At its thickest point, it is 0.68 inches thin at its thickest point. And it tapers down to just 0.11 inches at its thinnest point. That's a tenth of an inch. And it weighs just 2.9 pounds. In addition to the 13.3 inch, its younger brother is an 11.6 inch, even smaller, even lighter, 2.3 pounds. Now, I know it's tough to see from the audience, you know, the challenge, so something so thin and light and small from so far away, but just to give you a little context, here's my finger next to it, right? It's thinner than my finger. I mean, even, even with as closed it is because that display is so radically thin. It is a true breakthrough in engineering, and there has never been a notebook this thin, this light, and this powerful for professional use. So the new next generation MacBook Pro is 0.71 inches thin. That is remarkable. Putting it next to the existing current generation MacBook Pro, you see the difference. It's a quarter thinner, but it's a dramatic amount. In fact, let me bring the MacBook Air next to it. And you see, it's about as thin as a MacBook Air. That is incredible. And its weight, it weighs just 4.46 pounds, under four and a half pounds. It is the lightest pro notebook that we have ever made. I'm really excited to show you for the first time the brand new 13 inch MacBook Pro. It is incredibly thin just 0.75 inches thin. Let's put that side by side with the previous generation. You can see there's a huge difference. It's 20% thinner, a full one-fifth thinner. But even more impressive, it weighs just over three and a half pounds. That's almost a full pound lighter than the previous generation. It also makes it our lightest MacBook Pro ever. Look how thin that is. Beautiful thin base, thin display. It is unbelievable. Can you even see it? The new MacBook weighs just two pounds. Yes. This is the lightest Mac we have ever made. And even at its thickest point, it's just 13.1 millimeters thin. That's the thinnest Mac we have ever made as well. In fact, the previous thinnest Mac, here it is, the 11-inch MacBook Air, as you can see, the new MacBook is 24% thinner. That is a huge difference. This is the new MacBook Pro. And it is simply the thinnest and lightest MacBook Pro we have ever made. So let's dive into a few of the details. First, let's look at the 13-inch MacBook Pro. Here's the previous generation, absolutely the leader in its field in performance and thin and light. But here's the new 13-inch MacBook Pro on the right. 
Yes, it is just 14.9 millimeters thin. That's 17% thinner than the previous generation. And it's smaller, too. 23% smaller in volume, almost a quarter less. That's a huge difference. And it weighs less, too. It weighs just three pounds, almost a half a pound less than the previous version. Let's turn it around so you can see the all-metal design on all sides. It is an absolutely stunningly beautiful notebook. Now let's look at the 15-inch notebook. Again, the previous 15-inch MacBook Pro, the standard, the best professional notebook that had ever been made until today. Here's the new 15-inch Pro next to it. 15.5 millimeters thin. That's 14% thinner. And it is smaller as well, 20% smaller in volume than the previous one, one-fifth less. It's a huge engineering feat. And it weighs just four pounds, again, a half a pound less. Four pounds for a high-performance professional 15-inch notebook. That's just unheard of. This is the new MacBook Air. And it's incredibly thin. It's just 15.6 millimeters which is 10% thinner than the previous Air. And yet, with all these new features, the new MacBook Air weighs just 2.75 pounds. That's a quarter pound lighter than the previous Air. Perfect for the notebook you want to take with you everywhere. This is the new MacBook Air with M1. The day the first MacBook Air was pulled out of that manila envelope, it defined the category of thin and light notebooks. MacBook Air completely redefines what a thin and light notebook can do. Here's the new 13-inch MacBook Pro. With M1, our most popular and affordable MacBook Pro dramatically changes your expectations of what a compact Pro notebook can do. All these mind-blowing leaps in performance, new features, and amazing battery life still fit in the same incredibly portable three-pound design. With Big Sur and the M1 chip at the heart of the 13-inch MacBook Pro, it shatters the limits of what a compact Pro notebook can do. 